losing hair it was the worst um, thing I think but you lose hair everywhere you know your whole you're just bald <laughs> you're just a big baby the most visible thing you know looking in the mirror and just seeing that just made you look sick we're in a world we've never been in before all I've ever used is sort of like bar of soap and just ordinary shaving foam. You always imagine us men aren't that bothered, you know, they yeah. jump in the shower, use the soap, jump out and, and yeah. you know, put a bit of aftershave, a, a best of a bit of gel. Most men, like me, would be more concerned about how I'm going to lose my hair, I'm going to lose my eyebrow, and the skin is not going to be the same the way it is before treatment. So there's quite a lot of concerns about body image. First bout of chemo, um, the skin dried up and my lips were completely like breaking open. Most of the time, one doesn't really think of how to beautify themselves, how to look good. I've used sort of moisturising cream and stuff like that but what type I should be using for the type of skin that I have as well and also you know what I should be using while I'm going through chemotherapy. It's better to talk about cancer it's better to talk about what cancer does to you the guys who don't talk about it. I think you lose out because if you don't speak about it and tell people what's going on with you you can't get any help. Oh coming along today has been very very useful in a way that has exposed me to a lot of um, things that I've never really considered important in boosting my self-confidence. It can be quite isolating having um, cancer. It's good to meet people that are in a similar boat to you and uh, you know, understand and know that you're not going mad yourself. <laughs> people are going through the same thing as you.